Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I have Luke with me, and so we're gonna be doing a preschool tutorial today. Luke, how old are you now? Five. He just had a birthday, so he's super excited to join us again today. And what are we drawing and painting today? A penguin. Yes, a penguin. It's gonna be so fun. And Luke opted to do a baby penguin. So that's what we're gonna paint. You ready? Yeah. Okay. We made a couple of little studies here ahead of time just to kind of plan out what we're going to do. And it's going to be real simple shapes. Let's talk about supplies real quick. What we have is watercolor paper. We each have a pencil. We each have a water jar, a set of watercolor paints, but you really just need one color today. We're only going to use blue. And then a Sharpie. What else do we have? We have a paintbrush. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this is? It's a it's a white crayon. Yeah, so these are actually wax crayons. And if you have just a Crayola white crayon, that'll work perfect. But these are just pure wax. And what we're going to use these for at the end is snow in the background. Super fun, right? And then I also have a gray colored pencil and Luke has a gray colored pencil as well. And that's gonna help us get some of the gray colors in our little baby penguins feathers. All right, so grab your pencil, Luke. We're gonna start with the drawing. It's also helpful to have an eraser just in case you make a mistake, right? We're gonna start by drawing the baby penguin's head. And so I want you to find a spot kind of at the top of your paper, maybe about right here. And we're gonna do an oval shape. Watch me do it first. Draw lightly if you can. And that's going to be our baby penguin's little head. Now, can you draw on the back side of the head right here, starting at the top? Touch your pencil to I the top. I think I made a mistake. Do you want to start it over? Yeah. Okay. We can try that again if you're not happy with your shape. Okay. Okay, Luke's going to try his again. Why don't you move it over this way just a little bit? That's more better. That's a better oval. All right, now touch your pencil to the top left side of your oval right here. Can you try that? Just touch your pencil there. Good, and what we're going to do is draw the back of the penguin's neck like that. Just a little line coming down. Good. And that's our penguin's neck. Now, can you touch the bottom of your oval? Right about here, somewhere in the middle. And now we're going to draw our penguin's belly. It's going to swoop down like this. Okay. Here we go. Good. Now we're going to draw our penguins back and it's going to swoop down like that. Good. And then let's just draw a straight line at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add a little foot. Goes like this. Kind of like toothpaste. <laughs> Looks like toothpaste. <laughs> and you can add a second foot with a couple little claws like that. Look at mine. It's so cute. Why don't you put the other foot right here next to the first foot? <laughs> now let's add the wing. And for the wing, we're going to start up at the shoulder. Where does the shoulder go? Right here. Maybe a little higher, right about there. And I want you to start by moving a curved shape, kind of the shape of the belly, like this. And then the wing's going to come back and touch the back. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can make the wing a little skinnier. So you're making the same shape on this side of the wing, just making it a little skinnier. There, we have a penguin wing or flapper. Good job. Now let's add a tiny little beak. It doesn't have to be very big. Just a little pointy shape, kind of a little tiny triangle. Good job. Oh, it's so cute. Now to make this look like a baby penguin, You've already kind of got that with this separation right here. But do you see in our reference photo how there's a white shape inside of the penguin's head? Do you see that? If we look at this, the head is black, but there's a white shape inside of it. So we're going to try to make that shape. So start at the bottom of your oval, and we're going to make a backwards candy cane or an upside down candy cane like this. Good. And now bring that line down to the beak. Good. And then let's just draw a little eye in the middle of that curved, curled shape. So right here. Just a tiny little eye. Oh, it's so cute. Good job. Awesome. And that's it. We just drew a baby penguin. <laughs> now, let's now let's trace it with our Sharpie. Yeah. So next step is to take our Sharpie. Now wait, before you start, 
Remember that Sharpie is permanent, so let's not get it on our skin. Okay, we're gonna start by actually filling in the black head. So outline your upside down candy cane first. And then the top of the head, like that. Good steady hand, nice job. Yes, and then that whole shape, that circle shape of the head, we're gonna fill that in black. So this whole candy cane shape that you just drew, we're gonna color it in with our black Sharpie. Not that part, this part right here, yep. The nice thing about Sharpie is that it doesn't get bothered or messed up by the watercolors. So fill it in on the top. Yep, does that look like our picture? Good. And now we can also make the beak black. So if you wanna fill in the little beak, you can. Nice job, and then the little eye. <laughs> Good. Now we just need to outline the rest of it. You already did his chin. I'm, not, I'm just gonna catch up to you. And let's trace the back of the penguin. It's kind of hard covering the same line you drew before, isn't it? But it's smart to rest your hand on something. That helps. Very good. And then you can go ahead and trace the little feet. And if there are any marks you made that you didn't like, you can always fix those. I'm adding a couple extra toes. I like your toes. Those are cute. And then the belly. Ooh, swooping motion. Very good. All we have to trace now is the little wing. And yeah. if you want, you could color it in. Very good. And if you want, you could color it in. Well, that's actually what our gray pencils are for. So now we're gonna put the caps back on our Sharpies and set those aside. And if you have any ugly pencil marks maybe that you don't like, you can take your big eraser and erase those. Do you wanna maybe erase that dark mark on the wing? Uh-huh. Good. All right, so take your gray colored pencil. I think you have one right there. And if you look at our picture, the baby penguin's body is actually gray, isn't it? This part stays white, so we're not gonna color that but you can color your baby penguin gray. gray. Oh, wow, you finished so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna have to catch up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Pressure's on here. <sighs> we need to color the feet. Oh, yeah. So I colored my feet. You colored the feet already. Awesome. I'm gonna color mine in really dark. There we go. Okay, now the best part is coming up. Grab your crayon, and now we're gonna do little snow in the background, so just little tiny dots in the background. Don't put this on the penguin anywhere, but everywhere around it, you can draw snow. Snowflakes coming down. Yeah, all done? Now you can't see it, not yet. But when we put the watercolor on, we'll be able to see it. So we're gonna use this beautiful bright blue here. You can use any watercolor paint that you have. I'm gonna spray it with water to activate it first. And next, take your paintbrush, swirl it in the water first, and then swipe it on the side of your jar to get rid of any extra water, and then dip in your blue and start to paint the background. Whoa, look at how the snow appears. So the wax crayon helps protect the paper underneath so the watercolor can't touch it. Do you see how the blue is missing some of the white where you put down your crayon? Grab a little bit more paint, it looks like you need some more. Yeah, maybe a little more water too. Yeah, just dip in without taking all the paint out and grab a little more paint. Good, now here, push your brush a little closer to your hand. That'll help you control it better. Um, can you see my snowflakes? I can see them. There's one here, here. You haven't painted over it yet, that's all. Yeah, maybe you didn't press quite hard enough the wax crayon. We'll add a few extra ones, just in case. But keep painting your background. Do you think it needs more snow? No, thank you. <laughs> Good enough. And then just gently touch your brush in the water if it's not flowing. That's all you need is a little dab of water. And then suddenly it works better, doesn't it? 
it's starting to dry out. Yeah. Great job. What do you think? It looks great. It looks great. Well, there we go. There are our finished baby penguins. You did awesome. High five, buddy. If you guys decide to try this, tag me on Instagram at eolsonart. We'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.